Oh, congratulations on your exam. The telecoms market is transforming itself from an old-fashioned monopoly provider of calls into an all-singing and dancing next-generation internet and TV business. But far from the glitz of Hollywood endorsement, here on a former RAF airfield in Ipswich, BT scientists are working on the next generation network technology for broadband services that will take the company and lead the industry into the next phase of growth. This investment in the next generation of ultra-fast broadband, dubbed GFAST, is getting its executives excited. This will deliver speeds of up to 500 megabits per second to most of the UK in the next decade, more than 25 times faster than average speeds at present. The role of the labs is critical in bringing this innovation to market. Um, critical in the sense of helping formulate the standards. Uh, BT's made over a hundred contributions thus far to the, the journey of standardizing GFAST technology uh, globally. And the work of the, the next six to 12 months will see us making many more contributions as we evolve the capability of GFAST to become what we think is gonna be the bedrock technology of broadband here in the UK and very likely globally for the next decade or more. Convergence is taking place throughout the telecoms industry between pay TV and broadband, fixed and mobile telephony. All traffic will be over the internet. Traditional telecoms exchanges and copper lines will be replaced with an all internet system over fiber optic cables. For consumers, the next stage of internet delivery will mean much faster services and hopefully much cheaper services to say stream TV or play online games. Fixed and mobile delivery will become interchangeable this screen on my smartphone will be able to download the latest Game of Thrones or listen to music in the same way as perhaps my TV set or my hi-fi in my living room and all of it using the fixed broadband networks being supplied by companies such as BT. For consumers it means getting better access to the, you know, the services that they want to use wherever they are um, within their homes and increasingly mobile too uh, if you think about that part of what BT is doing. Um, things like streaming, high definition television and gaming are going to require additional bandwidth particularly when you've got multiple users within the home using those um, services and so BT needs to have the network that's ready to, to make use of that. But there are also other benefits for companies. BT hopes to profit from these changes by providing all communications and media via a single data platform. This is a similar ambition to efforts already underway by European rivals such as Deutsche Telekom. Efforts to modernise all data networks will mean that a broadband user in Greece can take their services to Germany at just a press of a button. What is ideal for us is a situation where you are just best connected and the device that you're using selects the best access mechanism onto the BT network, be that LTE or Wi-Fi or some other protocol. You wouldn't know, you would just be best connected at all times. The idea is to, is to not constrain your usage habits. So if it's watching sports on, 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 a, on a tablet, then whether you're at home or on the train or in the car, we want you to be able to do that um, irrespective of where you are. Telecom's network building is hard, often dirty work. These teams are the visible front line of BT's brand, digging trenches and climbing poles in all weathers. But BT's fiber future is being laid by those up poles and BT here is aiming to make sure that the British networks are the best in the business. Daniel Thomas, Financial Times, Ipswich.